Hello friends, welcome to Unity Essentials video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing terrain. We created terrain demo project. At present, the terrain demo project is open inside the Unity and the scene one is open at present. In the previous video tutorial, we understood that terrain is a sculptable plane which allow us to create open game levels, game environments, sceneries, right? We also understood how do we import standard assets to our projects. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we create a terrain. To create new terrain, we go to game object menu, say 3D object, say terrain. Once I say to create a new terrain, what Unity does is it creates a game object with the name terrain. It also creates a terrain asset with the name new terrain. The terrain game object has two components you can see terrain component and terrain collider component. A terrain collider component has a property called as terrain data. This terrain data is assigned with the terrain asset that is new terrain. Terrain asset is required for handling the collision guys. This terrain asset holds the data about the terrain which is required for handling collisions. So you must and should remember that every terrain game object is associated with a terrain asset. We can create multiple terrains if required. I go to game object menu say 3D object say terrain. You can see one more terrain is created with the name terrain 1 in the incremental order you can see that. and new terrain 1 asset is created. This terrain 1 you can see that it also has two components terrain component and terrain collider. Its terrain collider terrain data property is assigned or associated with new terrain 1 asset. So every terrain game object is associated with a terrain asset. If I select this terrain 1 and drag it up so we have two terrains in the scene. If you are deleting one of the game object, one of the terrain game object, for example, if I delete this terrain one game object, you see that new terrain one asset is not deleted. You must delete this also, otherwise it will be always available inside your assets folder. So I just say delete and say delete. Now we have one terrain and one terrain asset here. Now this terrain game object is just a sculptable plane which we can sculpt to create some environments. So I hope you guys have clearly understood how do you create a terrain, what happens when you create a new terrain, what are the components they are associated with. I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends. In the upcoming video tutorials we get more information on terrain. For more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.